Welcome to ESOC's video training series. Today we will be covering how to use the ESOC series CEX14 coolant exchange machine. This machine was developed to eliminate the air pockets that naturally occur when servicing coolant systems. Some of the many benefits of the CEX14 coolant exchange machine are it is easy to use, time saving, safe for the environment, and eliminates air pockets, which prevents on-road failures from overheated components. The Series CEX14 offers the following features. Tool tray, pickup tube, coolant dispenser, Note, you will need to provide a quarter inch bolt. This will block the vent tube while servicing the vehicle. Fill pan, ball valve or fill pan drain, pressure vacuum gauge for onboard storage tank, drain on off switch, fill on off switch, Pressure vacuum gauge for surge tank, coolant sample port valve, bypass ball valve, flow control ball valve, drain fill hose coupler, surge tank pressure vacuum control valve, air supply connection, coolant filter blue ball valve, radiator surge tank cap adapter, drain fill hose, surge tank radiator pressure vacuum hose, control box, Sight gauge with level indicator, 14 gallon onboard storage. The CEX14 is a full service coolant machine used to perform a complete drain and refill while filtering the contaminants from the coolant. The CEX14 can also be used to perform vacuum and pressure tests on the coolant system and perform a complete coolant flush on the vehicle. Coolant samples can be taken during the draining process. We will now review how to perform a coolant system drain, filter, and refill. We begin this process by connecting the coolant drain fill hose coupler to the bottom radiator ESOC drain connection. Note. ESOC has drain connections for every over-the-road vehicle. If your vehicle does not currently have this fitting, it is a quick and easy process to install this fitting. We will now make the top connection to the vehicle at the surge tank. This process is begun by removing the surge tank cap and then using the appropriate adapter for your vehicle we will connect the surge tank adapter to the top of the surge tank. We will then connect the pressure vacuum hose to the surge tank adapter. Now that both the top and bottom connections to the vehicle have been made, We'll make sure the air supply is connected to the machine. We'll begin by flipping the drain switch to on. We then open the pressure vacuum valve and then the blue ball valve on the coolant filter. Now we'll open the flow control valve. The coolant is now being filtered into the onboard storage tank. 
is at this point in time, if you would like to take a coolant sample, attach the bottle, and then open the sample valve to take your sample. You will notice as air begins to enter the coolant filter. This is signaling that the system is nearly empty. Note, the sight gauge will show the level of coolant in the onboard tank. Watch as the filter level drops. You may then close the flow control valve and then the pressure vacuum valve. Close the blue ball valve on the coolant filter and you can flip the drain switch to off. The coolant system has now been drained. We are now ready to begin refilling the coolant system. We will begin by blocking the overflow tube with a quarter inch bolt, as almost all overflow tubes have an ID of a quarter inch, but a pair of locking pliers would work just as well. You will then flip the fill switch to on. Open your pressure vacuum valve and then open the flow control valve. The coolant is now entering the system. You will want to monitor the surge tank as the coolant level nears the high level indicator, maybe about an inch or so away. At this point, you will close your flow control valve and then close your vacuum pressure valve. We will now remove the surge tank adapter from the surge tank. To finish the fill process and remove any residual air pockets, we will now reopen the flow control valve and add the remaining coolant from the onboard tank. Note the level in the surge tank will reach the top line, and the sight gauge on the machine should now show the onboard tank is empty. We can now close the flow control valve, flip the fill switch to off. The coolant system has now been refilled with no air pockets. You may now disconnect the machine from the vehicle. The drain, filter, and refill process has been completed.